hello friends welcome to my channel today i am going to uh, unbox the sanjo um, electric uh, convertible pole chainsaw this is a chainsaw and pole chainsaw and it's like a convertible means regular chainsaw and you can just add a extension uh, pole to reach um, and the model is swj um, 807e this is a this is a 10 inch pole saw and um electric one 8 ampere um and it's like um it's a very good one and uh, in amazon i got it for 75.99 uh, that was on deal so that was the cheapest one you can also find it in uh, different places like um um uh, home depot or walmart and other places so you can check and this is a 10 inch uh, saw and electric one and um the 8 ampere uh, motor so let's open the box i'm opening it right now The pole saw is uh, you can reach up to um, 8.8 feet uh, extension that extends 8.8 feet so you can reach um, along this uh, like more than 18 feet for, sorry 14 feet um, this is the main uh, saw and you can see it this is the main saw and let me open all those and another and then that uh, another feature is like um this uh this is a very good one like cheap one and you can do like if you want to cut branches of trees and something like for regular purpose not uh not for like high high du heavy heavy duty one so this is good one with price and everything This is manual you should always read the manual for and safety instruction because this tool is um this is not for kids right so you should always read and this is the pole so you can extend the pole this is the chainsaw and And always you make sure that you read the instructions first before you do anything, which is very important. So I'm opening everything and going to read all those. Um, in the meantime, it is two in one, uh, means uh, convertible, uh, like you can extend or you can use regularly. So this is the main saw, as you can see. And this is my first chainsaw ever, any first chainsaw. So I am a little bit new on this also. I don't know how all these things work. So I just went through the... Um, manual see how it works so uh, let's set up so i have to open this screw i have to open it this is the place and then we need to put the saw in the right place so let me cut it So that's how the chain the chain will turn over the uh, that plate 
that is the main thing and you need to place the plate in right position there is a screw there and so the chain should turn over that that place as you can see and and that screw where it sits you need to position the screw see the screw that's you need to make sure that it is uh, in right position uh, you can turn change the position and that's the lock screw and after actually uh, like setting it up you, you need to tighten it so that the chain works fine so now right now i'm make uh, losing it and putting taking it to the right position see the screw close close on so you can just see how i can do it so you need to position the screw and then put the saw in right place right away see and So now it got fit. Yep. Still need to. So this is the main thing you need to put it in right position. And and this time it worked. Yeah. See, it fits nicely. You can see it right <clears throat> and now put the cover put the lid it's very simple actually um the setting up is very simple and then tighten the screw good now tight it make it tight enough and before make it tight make sure you um, also just tight this screw this one so it's tight enough and then put, put the uh, chain, uh, chain, uh, do that safety screw make it tight enough so that, that it works fine you need to adjust that screw So the chain can uh, rotate over that blade. See, it's now working fine. I tightened it enough. So then now the saw is ready to use actually and this is the cover so whenever you are not using the saw make sure you put the cover on otherwise it will be dangerous you can cut yourself and let me now show you the pole so I'm going to show you the pole So that's how like you just turn it and open this part that safety lock there it's easy actually so see and let's put the pole it's easy and as I told you the pole is extend to 8.8 .8 feet so based on your height you can reach long height and you can change the angle also i don't think you can change yeah 
so that's the law and you can extend it so that's a very good one and the pull is heavy enough like i mean it's hard so it's, it works fine so i'm now putting the leaving the pole aside because that right now is not required mm, so this is the chainsaw and i am gonna put the oil oiling is important um the chainsaw oil that's the area where you need to put the chainsaw oil and i purchased the chainsaw oil from home depot you can get it from anywhere just search for uh, chainsaw oil uh, you can find it so and it's a cheap one this big this one is just 4.99 dollar uh, in home depot so i purchased it from there so i'm gonna fill that to fill that right now So just you need to make sure that you put that chainsaw oil that's lubricant that's important I spilled a little bit so I need to make sure that it doesn't bother. Uh, I need to clean it up. So be careful on that. <laughs> um, so I'm going to now plug it in and turn on the saw. So let me open the cover. so friend thank you for watching my video uh, in your comment in the comments please tell me how do how do you like the video if you have any other comments please uh, you can comment and if you like the video please like it share it and subscribe thank you thanks have a good day